Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And this video we are going to talk about the diseases of bone. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 heading in 5 minute and today's topic is the cherubism. So before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Cherubism is a rare benign hereditary disorder of the bone. So now what happens in case of cherubism there is going to be a swelling at the angle of the mandible. So the bilateral swelling. So because there is a bilateral enlargement of the mandible, sometimes it can also involve the maxilla as well. But usually there is the swelling which occurs at the angle of the mandible. So this follows a familial pattern. This follows a hereditary pattern. So all the members in a family are going to run with the cherubism. But sometimes it can be from due to mutation also. So what happens when at the birth the child is normal. But after 1 to 5 years there is a bilateral painless swelling which develops in the mandible. Sometimes it can develop in the maxilla also. But bilateral uh, swelling which started occur in the cherubism there is a symmetrical mandibular swelling. Right, it starts with the angle of the mandible on both the side. And then there is a going to be excessive cheek fullness. So because of that the uh, there looks very uh, fluffy che cheeks. There looks very chubby face and this is the reason we call it the chubby face appearance. So what happens usually at this age, 1 to 5 years of age, child normally look like they have a chubby face. So the parents, it is very hard to discriminate the parent, it is very hard for the parents to discriminate either it is due to the cherubism or this is normal. So uh, the parents may not be appreciate this abnormality but until and unless the mandibular swelling has become substantial otherwise they won't be able to tell. Now when the maxillary swelling is very extensive and it start putting pressure on the floor of the orbit. Now when it starts uh, putting pressure on the floor of the orbit then it will result in the upward movement of the pupils. So pupils which were normal uh, earlier then the pupils start uh, lifting upward because of the pressure from the floor of the orbit because there is a pressure which is coming because of that the pupils will start shifting upward and the ch uh, child eyes so what happens there is a rim of the sclera white sclera below the iris so if you can see the white sclera sclera is a wh white part of the eye so sclera is this part so because there is a line of the sclera a thin rim of the sclera because the pupils have shifted upward right so because of that there is a uh, rim of the sclera below the iris and this is look it looks like that the child is looking up uh, towards the heaven and this is the reason we call the heavenward look so this look gives a patient appearance the angelic appearance so as if uh, the patient um, the child is looking up towards the god so that is why we call it the angelic appearance moreover there can be very severe maxillary swelling which can also retract the lower eyelid and uh, because there is a swelling usually at the mandible right so this increases the cheek fullness there is also expansion and widening of the alveolar ridges also there is flattening of the palatal vault so what happens there is premature exfoliation of the deciduous teeth and mostly uh, what do we see in the permanent teeth we see that there is hypodontia which is very common in the cherubism what happens the teeth they get impacted or submerged in the jaw and this is the reason in the radiograph we see the floating tooth syndrome because once we see in the radiograph we see that there are multiple unerupted teeth which keeps on floating uh, with like the uh, within the cyst like spaces so within the mandible there are so many teeth which are floating and this is the reason that the uh, it usually happens on the permanent teeth so there is hypodontia of the permanent teeth which is also an important feature of cherubism that the teeth don't erupt they are usually impacted or embedded inside the uh, um, in, inside the jaw 
so there are there is grading of cherubism so grade one is when the there is ascending ramus of the mandible on both the side is involved grade two is when there is involvement of ascending ramus both the sides bilaterally along with that the maxillary tuberosity of both the sides are involved grade three is when the maxilla the massive swelling of the maxilla massive involvement of the uh, mandible as well as the maxilla except the condylar process so grade four is when there is grade three plus orbit is involved now this syndrome is cherubism is usually associated with the noonan syndrome so noonan syndrome is wherein there is a congenital heart disease chest deformity mental retardation facial uh, bone anomalies as well as there is webbed neck gingival fibromatosis blood coagulation disorder and also uh, the child won't be able to sleep properly so the patient has the obstructive sleep uh, sleep apnea so all these features are characteristic of cherubism if we look at the radiograph then we see that in few cases there is presence of ground glass appearance but we also see sometimes that there are so many multiple unerupted teeth which are placed uh, which are floating in the jaw and we call the floating tooth syndrome this is the reason we call this floating tooth syndrome and histologically we see that there are high cellular or vascular connective tissue stroma which contains the fibroblast which contains the multinucleated giant cell so this is about the cherubism if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below there is a link in the description box below to support me on ptm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys so till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated and i'll see you soon in the next video